You can now generate images to use in your AIs using the Dream AI block. Let me show you how this works. Here, I've built a Story Exaggerator AI, and we're going to enhance it by using the Dream AI block to complement our story with a visual of the setting. Let's begin by adding the Dream AI block to our automation. You can find it in the community functions. Inside of our Dream AI block, we have a few things to set up. The first is our API key. We can grab this from the Dream AI website. Go to your account, scroll down to My API Keys, then tap Generate New API Key. Make sure you paste it somewhere safe because you will not be able to access it once you close this window. I've already created one, so I'm going to use it in our example. For the image style, we're going to choose a number between 1 and 21. Each number has a unique creativity style. You can see what each style is by checking out the Wumbo Quick Start Guide linked in the description. For this example, we're going to use style 11, which is their mystical style. For the prompt, we're going to use a variable. I set one up ahead of time in the collect input block, and the name I gave it is setting. We're going to call the variable using the double curly braces like so. We're now going to name the output variable so we can call for the image generated later on in our automation. I'm going to set it to visual. I set the collect input block to collect both your story prompt and your setting prompt. Immediately after the Dream AI block, I set up a send message block. Let's call this instance a request. This block is going to send our story and setting prompts along with our instructions to be processed by our AI of choice. That said, we're going to set the response behavior to assign to variable, and I'm going to name the variable experience. Next, we're going to examine the following send block. This block is going to gather the results of the previous send block variable that we named experience, as well as show our dream AI image generation by wrapping the dream AI variable in the markdown to display an image. In order to see our desired final output, we have to make sure to set the response behavior to display to user and the sender to system. For this example, we're going to set the terminator block to end session. Lastly, let's open up the test data tab and test our Dream AI function out. You can do so by going over to the Dream AI function over in your resources panel on the left. We're then going to open up the test data tab. As you can see, I've preset some of the information already such as the API key and the style, but now we're going to include a prompt. All we have to do now is press play and test it out. Great, now that we know that it works, let's publish a preview and see the final outcome. In this new thread, I'm going to paste in a story idea. Next, I'm going to paste in where the story takes place. Let's try it out. Great, now we have our story and the setting that we prompted generated by the Dream AI block. Now, let's head back to Mind Studio. As you've seen, using this block, 
we were able to use Dream AI to generate a visual for the setting of our story generator. You and your users can now generate images for all sorts of creative ideas. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave us a message in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.